follow-up, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who have spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. We are distributing discipleship tools across multiple platforms to bring about a rapture-ready body of believers <clears throat> so that when Jesus Christ comes back, he will have no trouble recognizing his own children. Tonight's nightlight is out of Mark chapter 2 and verse 2. It's uh, where Jesus is doing a healing, and uh, so many people are thronged around him. Uh, they can't get into the door, and some uh, friends of a man who has palsy who's paralyzed climb up on the roof, tear the roof off, and lower him down. And Jesus heals this man because of the faith of these four individuals that brought him to Jesus. But I want to zero in on verse 2. It says, And straightway many were gathered together insomuch that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. I want to talk to you about doctor's orders today. Doctor's orders. Next to the patient who simply won't pay his bill, doctor's greatest frustration are patients who, who have come to find a prescription for the, their pain or their problem. And they're given very clear, very direct instructions about what to do. And then they go away and do whatever they want to do instead of following doctor's orders. And they say that uh, those that have been prescribed antibiotics, those that do the follow-up studies on such things, say that 90% of people that are prescribed antibiotics never finish the whole course of antibiotics, which is creating an antibiotic-resistant group of diseases that are not able to be treated by antibiotics. Kind of a serious thing. They say that they've done some study to find out who makes the best and worst patients. You might be surprised some of the worst patients were actually teachers. They said that teachers always kind of felt like they could modify the doctor's orders, maybe like modifying a lesson plan. I don't know. They said another group they had a lot of problems with were young executives because they just wanted enough uh, just give me enough to get me by. And then once they kind of got better with the symptoms, they quit taking the antibiotics. And then a group that was surprising, that was the one that actually followed through with the instructions, were engineers because they're so very detail-oriented and they're used to following explicit instructions. They were some of the best patients. Now, I, I don't know what group you fall into, but I do know that we have a great physician. The great physician is Jesus, the same one that healed this young man that was lowered down from the roof by his four friends, is the same physician that can heal us. But after he heals us, there's a, life, there's a lifelong prescription of discipleship that he's written for us. We have the word of God that we are to uh, follow. That's God's prescription pad, the great physician scripture pad that he's written out for us. And he has a prescription for our marriage. He's got a prescription for our children. He's got a prescription for our work world, prescription for school, prescription for the situations in which we find ourselves. And as we go to this, the word of God and dig into it, we begin to experience the great physician's wholeness, uh, wellness co co covering every part of our body, every part of our life. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day. I do pray that you'd help us to be good patients of the great physician, Jesus. Help us to follow him moment by moment and day by day. And God, I do pray that you'd be with those who are experiencing physical maladies, physical illnesses right now. I'm asking that you'd bring a healing into their bodies in a way that's even beyond what our physical doctors can do. Help them, God, to experience your supernatural touch on them right now. But thank you for doctors and for nurses. God, they minister to our bodies and we're so thankful for them. I pray that you just bless them and be with them tonight as they rest. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you even more. Have a great night.